All right, what's up guys? My name is Zach and today I'm driving a 1973 Triumph TR6. Up front is a 2.5 liter inline six and down below is a four speed manual transmission. This video is sponsored by carmarshall.com. If you'd like to support the channel, click the link down in the description below. Carmarshall.com advertises for over 100,000 vehicles across the US. But let's get back to that 2.5 liter. Well, it sounds absolutely glorious. It's a carbureted, it's a twin carb straight six, and it's just, you don't get sounds like this anymore. You don't get feelings like this anymore. And that's really gonna be the whole idea of this car. <laughs> oh man, they don't make them like they used to. This is technically a Triumph TR6 CI, which means that it's carbureted, but they only ever sold carbureted models here in the US. Europe actually did get a fuel injected model, but it wasn't allowed. They just didn't quite meet the emission standards here in the US that we required. And so we never got them, but it sounds so great. I'm, I'm slowly falling in love with carbureted straight sixes. Now, like I said, paired to it is a four speed manual. The clutch grabs super, super low. And the shift feel is that of any older vehicle. It's really not that crazy, but it is in fact a four speed manual. And of course it is rear wheel drive. The actual driving experience isn't all that great, honestly. I'm kind of smushed in here. I'm not very comfortable. The clutch is very touchy. The brakes aren't amazing, but you have to remember you're in something so special, so different, and just something you don't see anymore. So let's talk about the interior. Well, in front of me, I have two giant gauges. On the left is my speedometer, and on the right is my tachometer which sort of does what it wants. It's not very accurate. To the left, I do have my lights and wipers. And then on the door, I just have my door handle and of course the window roll up and down. Now, one interesting thing about the interior is that the key, it's not to the right, it's not to the left. It's down in between your legs, which I have to say is something I have never ever seen before. And I'll probably never ever see ever again. To the right of me, I have even more gauges for my coolant temperature, my oil pressure, fuel and voltage, as well as a couple warning lights to fasten my seatbelt and that the parking brake is engaged. Then I do have my heater controls, which are so basic. I really feel like I'm in like a little Cessna airplane or something like that. So I do have defrost, blower, heat, and then choke, which choke is actually for the engine. If you're gonna cold start a carbureted car, you might wanna pull the choke, it'll help it start. Super, super basic. Nothing from the 70s, no climate controls from the 70s were ever really that intricate. And of course that reigns true here in the Triumph. And then I do have a radio that is an aftermarket radio that's made to look retro and doesn't work. Then of course I have my shifter, and down below the shifter is actually a clock. It all looks super British, super vintage. I absolutely love it. The clock does work. It looks great. It functions. And that's really all I can say. Now the seats are decently comfortable, but they're 70s seats. In the 70s, no one understood what side bolsters were. And so they don't really hold you in at all. And the seat belts, they work, but they're not the best. Something about the seat though, it's it's almost angled. I don't know. I, I feel like I'm getting shoved into the door card on the door here. It's uh, it's not a very comfortable driving position, especially for a big guy like me. Now the convertible top is of course down because it's actually a beautiful day today, but it is a completely mechanical top. It's not a power top. Now, of course, we have to talk about the looks. This thing looks so unique, so different, and I absolutely love it. I'll just show some shots here. It, it's, it's a great looking car. You know, I really wish that people would bring back grill badges. This car has a couple different badges for the clubs that the owner is in, things like that. I wish that companies brought that back. I kind of miss that. Overall, I have to say driving this thing is quite the experience. I have to say I am pretty spoiled by the Mazda Miata because it's a low maintenance, no hassle, carefree little roadster. And these cars, this is where Mazda got their influence from. This is what Mazda wanted to recreate when they started off with the Miata. They wanted to recreate the British 
Roadster experience, but with more reliability. And so I have to say, in essence, this is a great, fantastic experience. I'm open, you know, it's a Roadster. It's got that awesome sounding engine. It's unique, it's different, it's cute, it's little, but this is a little bit of a hassle to drive, not gonna lie. I have to keep an eye on the temperature. It does not like idling for too long. It's only a four speed, so the highway is not gonna be great. It's carbureted, so you have carbureted car, I'll say scenarios instead of issues. And so really, this just makes me appreciative of how easy it is to get into a Roadster these days and drive it. But that being said, this is kind of more rewarding. Anyone and their mom could get into a Miata and just start driving it, but this, this takes a special kind of person to not only find one of these in good condition, find one in good running condition, but to maintain it, to keep it up, to make it last. That takes a special breed. Not everyone's gonna do that. You'll see a hipster who knows nothing about cars driving a first gen Miata. You won't see him driving this. But you'll never hear a stock Miata sound that good. Well, huge thank you to Ryan for letting me take this thing out. It's just amazing. It makes all the right sounds. It's a great little car. It's not super comfortable, and it's a little bit of a hassle to keep up, and I'm a little worried about breaking it. But man, they just don't make them like they used to. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video, and subscribe if you really like to. Take care, guys. I'm a side from my soul.